The capital is decked with celebratory flags, but under wintry skies the atmosphere is as much one of uncertainty as joy. There's been an increase in social and labour unrest in recent months. The government battling to balance the right to free expression against the maintenance of law and order as people frustrated with the slow pace of change take to the streets in protest. The landmark agreement between unions and government though regarded as a significant moment in the country's transition. Only possible, says this union leader, because of the revolution. The main benefit of the revolution is the disappearance of the state of fear, which is dominating a large spectrum of our population. The seizure of this casino hotel for the use of his family was just one of the excesses of the deposed president, Sina El Abedin Ben Ali. Now it's a fitting venue for the sale of the dictator's assets, the seized possessions of his family being put on auction the profits purportedly being filtered back to the people by the government. And anyone is able to buy and carry away smaller items, like the former First Lady's size 38 shoes or one of Ben Ali's tailored size 17 shirts. The president has been tried and found guilty, but he remains a free man in exile. Nobody has been held accountable for the killings during the uprising or for the excessive corruption of the previous regime. The people of Tunisia are still waiting for economic reward, but to date, the items on sale here are the only tangible benefits of revolution. The national frustration was directed at the country's president when he recently visited Sidi Bouzid, the town where the uprising began in December 2010. Degage, degage, the cry of the revolution is echoed as he's told by the angry crowd to leave. I, I can understand the frustration of the, 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 the youth. I can understand that uh, they say, hi, we, we, are, we are waiting for more than two or three decades and now we want everything. But yes, you want everything now. I wanted it too, but we have to accept that reality is much more complex and that we, we don't have, we are, not, we are not gods. We cannot do miracles. On this anniversary, though, the complexities appear forgotten for a day the hard-won political freedoms publicly acknowledged by most as a cause for celebration. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Tunis.